So what is this? It is a 2006 F-250. Right. With a 6 L uh, turbo diesel. It's crazy because it's like, if you guys don't remember, he had the WRX. Here, let's give it a rip. Ooh. And he let me drive it. It was fun as shit. And then that got hit. I'm gonna post all the pictures in there just so you guys can see what happened. And I guess he picked this bad boy up. And it's that- out of Texas. Yup. And so you said it was fully built? Pretty much fully built. What's the setup? Just tell them, just break them down the setup. Everybody wants the suspension. Oh, this uh, is for all the trucker guys. Start with the motor. Um, it's a full reman 6L, remanufactured through Ford. Um, it had the heads decked, um, the full rebuild. Uh, it's studded. Well, anybody knows, bulletproof. It's got studs, EDR delete. Um, new head gaskets, new everything. Um, injector cups. Uh, huh. Pretty much everything that goes with that. Um, I'll start off with the injection system. It's got a fast 265 titanium lift pump mm. um, with a cat filter conversion. Uh, 195, 35, uh, OE, there are four OEM injectors that I sent out to Warren to get built. Um, so that's it, that's that. Uh, full XDP regulated return system with an aeromotive regulator. Yes, um, sir. Braided lines. Uh, KC Stage 3 Turbo, um, VGT for right now. I'm gonna eventually go with a non-VGT in the spring. Um, full MBRP, uh, titanium up pipes. Uh, it's got Rudy's down, it's got Rudy's full intake piping on it, um, riffraff boots. Um, oh, forgot to mention, it's board 30 over too, so it's more or less like a 6.3. Um, it's got a WGE intake manifold, I believe. Upgraded radiator. Um, what size is the turbo? I believe it's an 87 mil. Hey, Husky Bull. I believe so. Don't quote me on that one. I gotta, like I said, I really haven't got too, too deep into it. Yeah. I buying built things, but I couldn't pass this up. It's got all the paperwork for everything in it, too. Yeah, for, what do you say, $40,000 in receipts for all the paperwork? Like 40K in receipts, yeah. It's crazy. Um, dual alternator setup, as most Fords have. I mean, the usual block heater. Um, like I said, it's pretty much all been redone. Um, coolant flush, high pro, uh, oil bypass, coolant filtration system, full four inch MBRP uh, turbo back exhaust coming out to it, eight inch octagon by TSO Fab. Uh, TSO Fab. Uh, it's got 2015 suspension, um, so it's got brand new custom Carly Springs, uh, Pro Comp track bars ladder style. I'm going to go with straights and longhorns, longhorn fab soon. Uh, it's got a rebuilt bit in the back. Um, locker in it. Yeah, what's up with the trans? What's the trans got? Fully built trans pretty much. I think it's like a, I believe it's a stage four, stage five trans. Full billet. Um, billet input. Billet torque converter. Uh, billet tail shaft. It's got an upgraded drive shaft in it. Mm. Um, oh, the oil, the, the, again, but back the motor. Oil pans have been Redone, resealed. It's got a uh, mag high tech covers on them. Um, what else you got? Barroso catch uh, the CCV rear out, which is if anybody knows, it's a crankcase ventilation system. Yeah. Diesels. That's what you want. Catch you can. Want vent, uh, venting. I just had. To I, did, I need one on mine. I just had to put a thickum on the truck um, due to some bad fuel issues. So I said, pretty much everything's been run over. I'm just trying to dial it in little by little. Yeah. Um, it's custom tuned. I got a few custom tunes. I got some Looney Tunes from <laughs> uh, Quick Tricks down in Florida. I got some from Gearhead. I got some from Truck Source Diesel. Uh, Innovative is the people who mainly tuned it. They're out of Maryland. Um, e Tunes, so that's the way to go with these. Um, right now, I believe the truck, like I said, fully turned up. It's making around eight within the eights. Um, again, I hope to shoot higher in the springtime. I've just been trying to leave it alone, figure out where its weak points are here and there. Yeah, you try to make it a show car. You ready to say a show truck? Yeah, it's going to be a show truck. I mean, it's going to be a minimal, minimal, minimal rust. I mean, just the bottom of the doors are starting to bubble. They're all going to get fixed. Um, everything's going to get re, re, pretty much redone, we went over, powder coated. Um, yeah, you powder coat some of the undercarriage, you're going to definitely be killing that shit. Yeah, he's he'll probably take care of that. Um, I got a couple of, I mean, it's got 08 mirrors on it. Um, well, everything's paint to match, uh, paint to match headlights, 
Um, it's got the Harley, Harley grill on it. That's all paint to match with the billet. Um, it's got a BA, BAMF uh, underglow kit on it. I think it's a total of 50 rock lights. Um, mm. Just clean white. I don't want no colors. Clean yeah. white. Uh, look better like that. Sitting on 22 by 12 fuel Ford FF29s. Um, except the 22 by 12 polished on 305, 45, 22 Toyo proxies. Um, I love them. That's all I've ran on anything else. Like I said, the truck is lower. Um, it's got a standout specialties lowering kit on it, which is pretty pretty rare. I mean, you don't see too many lower. Yeah. Um, I can only run it like a wheel into a 33 inch tire, which is fine by me. I'm big trying to make, I'm trying to go fast. I've had a uh, had enough lifted things. Yeah. Um, I'm actually in the future in the process of selling these wheels. It's gonna go probably up to a 22 by 14. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming, nothing too crazy. Um, it shouldn't be a big deal. I'll probably yeah. do a black and with a mill uh, inserts. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, everything's been redone. The truck was definitely taken care of. It's a Lariat. Yeah, it's, it's fully nice. loaded. It's got an Alpine, full Alpine system in it. Uh, a 15 in the back that will be getting changed to a. Um, probably gonna do 12s under the seats. Probably JLs. I don't know if I'm gonna do four or two. I'm just gonna see. I'm waiting to see if I can get rid of this 15 inch first. Yeah. Um, Going on an SCT X4 tuner. I'm probably going to switch it over to a digital tuner soon. Um, once I put my actual um, the new gauges in, these gauges in here, I mean, they're older. The truck was definitely maintained. It was owned by an older dude first, and it was sold to a younger kid who did most of the work. Um, younger, mid 20s, late 20s. Did everything right, didn't really cut no corners. Like I said, I'm just weeding through the little things here and there, not too crazy. Yeah. Everything's been, like I said, ran, uh, gone over. The truck only has 130K on it. I bought it with 126. I drive it every day. Um, I keep it around like a mid-level, like a hot street tune. Um, that's what works best for daily driving. I'm averaging like 18, 19 miles to the gallon if I don't beat it, which ain't which ain't bad at all. That's not bad at all. Um, for Shit, truck. my Honda was worse than that, bro. I was getting fucking 12 miles to the gallon with my SI. For a truck this big. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's got full uh, diode dynamics, LEDs, um, headlights, tail. Uh, it's got recon tail lights, the diode dynamic backup lights, um, switchbacks in the mirrors. Everything's diode dynamics, interior, exterior. Um, like I said, the interior is pretty much stock, um, besides the head unit and the, and the gauges and the tuner and whatnot. I'd rather keep it that way. I mean, the plans are probably to put a 15 or a 16. Uh, platinum interior in it out of a newer one once I get yeah. everything situated. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get everything done before that. Um, my truck will be down in Rudy's, Rudy's Nationals, Spring Spring Nationals in April, and then it's going to go down to Daytona for the truck meet um, in June. Yo, comment down below if you guys want your boy K Power to ride with him down Daytona. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, again, it's been, it's been fun. I've owned it for about a month and a half now. And, and uh, he's loving his life. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> the truck with 130,000 miles on it, it runs like brand new. It looks like brand new. I mean, there's a little, a few little cosmetics I got to deal with and address, but nothing crazy. Um, motor's old. Looks, I mean, besides the turbo and the piping, it looks pretty stock. It's not. Um, it's got forged internals. I don't know if I mentioned that. I mean, again, a lot of money was put on into it. I got it for a steal. I still keep in touch with the kid I bought it from. I mean, it was something that he didn't even want to get rid of. He was actually going out to buy a 2020 the night I actually picked it up. Um, he just wanted something a little newer, change of pace, so I told him I'd keep in touch with him and take good care of it. He was really eerie about selling to somebody younger. And I've showed him what I've owned. I've owned a lot of uh, quote-unquote specialty things yeah, that hey. a lot of people don't really have and or can afford. I'm blessed to do what I do and be able to afford what I want. Um, I don't really want to talk about how much I got it for because people are Yeah, gonna, he told me, and it is definitely a killer ass. Never gonna think I'm lying. Um, yeah. But again, clean title. It's only got three owners. The truck's been all over the place. The truck's been in Maryland, went out to Texas. I believe the original paperwork was actually bought from Newcastle, Bayshore Ford in Newcastle. No. Uh -huh. I believe so. And it got kind of tossed around. Um, that's why it stayed pretty clean. I mean, as most people know, there's not a lot of snow and salt. And, 
Mm-hmm. The other garbage. That Texas saved your life. Garbage yeah. in Texas. I mean, for a truck, again, being an 06, it's uh, really going crazy. on 15 years old. And it's, shit, you better you turn so we have to ride through Ellsworth. I got you. Shit. I drive. Um, it's fully tinted, 20, 25% on the windshield, double five on the windows. Um, again, I mean, it's pretty, uh, pretty usual. Um, with something like this. Yeah. Um, my boy, actually, JC, does most of my work because lack of time and he's just, I mean, he works for Ford, so he's got the knowledge and the know how. He owns one himself, a Brighton Back Diesel. I could tag him in it. Um, he's great. Like I said, we'll sit there countless hours trying to figure out. I mean, like I said, there was a few little hiccups I had to address. Nothing too, too crazy. Like I said, the Thickum, Thickum decided it wanted to take a crap. Um, that was running 23 volts, which I don't even know how the truck was still running, to be honest with you. They're operating is normally like 58. Yeah. Not 58, 48. But, um... Oh, got to do the two-star? Yeah, you turn a little... Oh, scrape, scrape. Ooh, stand side. It rubs a little bit. I'll get it fixed eventually. Give us a first. Give us a first. <laughs> oh, we're too crazy. It's a Yeah. Um, it blew the tires off, though. I felt that. That's on a mid-level tune. Um, like I said, I'm gonna eventually probably turn it up. It's Hell just, yeah. I don't have, it's, I'm perfectly content with the way it is. I mean, it's faster than a, a lot of things I've owned and a lot of things that I've came up against. For a truck weighing in, I believe wet fully with a fuel, full fuel tank. Um, like I said, load it down. I mean, I got a bed cover on it. I always keep a couple things in the truck in the system. But it's coming in at almost 7,400 pounds. So it is pretty heavy. But yeah. again, it is no slouch. It'll 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 roast higher at 60 if I mash it. It's um, fucking sick. It is pretty nasty. It, it's, it's got a nice whistle. If anybody knows, I mean, it's so no, in my opinion, and not just my own one. I'm, I'm more of a Lesson Cummins guy, but again, I couldn't pass it up. I've owned a couple. I've owned everything under the sun. This thing is a panty dropper, and um, yeah, I love it. Again, it's, gonna be, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be definitely one that will be around for a little while. And, do my thing on it. Like I said, the plans will probably be nothing too crazy. I mean, like I said, it's already, I bought it how I wanted it. That's why I didn't really fret on buying something built. Like I said, paperwork was intact. I mean, half the papers are in the glove box right now um, of just work on work on work on work. And if anybody knows, six O's can be problematic if you start messing with them and you don't do things the right way and they're not done. Yeah, Again, I was very hesitant about buying one, but I couldn't pass it up with all the paperwork. Yeah, it was legit. You gotta steal, my brother. He sounded like he was, he knew what he was, again, he didn't even want to sell it to me. Yeah. Um, but I ended up talking him into it, and uh, we made yeah, that money, he had that money, so that helped talk him into it, too, huh? Yeah, cash at hand is a, is a nice thing. Um, I'm very serious. I talked to him about it for two weeks before I bought the truck to make sure it was what we both wanted. Um, we started off a little high. I told him, I said, I got this. I'm waiting on the insurance check for my Subaru. Um, I was actually going to go out and buy a brand new 2020 Cummins. Um, I just couldn't justify spending $76,000 on a pickup that I still was going to put money into because it wasn't the way I wanted it. Yeah, um, news, news nice, but when you get in something like this, I appreciate it a little more. Um, again, it is older, but it looks like a brand new truck. It does. I, you couldn't tell somebody it's a Honda guy any different. I wouldn't be able to tell you. It looks like a brand the new The headlights and taillights look different, too. Inside and out. Um, maybe it's the color. Maybe the color could make you think, eh, it's a little older style a, color. I believe the actual color is a satin beige um, metallic. Uh, gray, uh, it's a gray Yo, you satin should put the windows beige. up. I'm getting mad draft, bro. I don't get word. Oh, my God. Yeah, word. Gray satin beige metallic. It's a weird color. It's a two-tone with the caribou on the bottom of the doors. Uh, yeah. I don't know. if I'm, I may change it eventually. I may go with an all black with all a black. purple flake. I don't know fire. yet. I'm gonna see what's or going on. Or a gold with flake would be fire too. Like I said, I mean, it'll be. It's definitely gonna be around for a little while. It'll see its fair change. I actually, hopefully, I'll have these wheels sold this weekend, um, and then onto a set of specialties I go. Um, specialty Forge. Like I said, I'm gonna run a 22 by 14 with milled inners and uh, a black gloss black face. That's so sick. So they'll be pretty sweet. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with tires yet. I might do a, the same proxies or I may go to a Nitto 420V. I don't know, there's so many options right now. I mean, the truck doesn't, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's a pavement princess. Most it sees is, is gravel roads at work when it's parked. Yeah. Um, this truck, it's too nice for me to beat. Yeah, you can't take care of it, bro. My it's, boy got one, of, he, bought, he went and bought a 
F-150 had the, the Coyote motor and it was beautiful work truck, had the workbenches in the back, like just a great work truck. And man, he treated that shit like it was old ass Honda, so he beat the shit out of it. Nah, it's destroyed. Yeah, it's yeah, like, no, I mean, I'm hard on vehicles. I, I, I drive a triaxle for a living, so I get how it goes. I mean, I try to keep it as clean as I can. I mean, I even go to the extent of taking my boots off after work and then getting in the Crocs before I get in the truck. Yeah. I mean, it gets cleaned every two days, waxed religiously. It'll be getting ceramic coat once the paint's done, uh, once the little bit of, of bubbling is addressed, which again, it's minimal nothing on the body it's more or less just the bottom of the doors where every ford if you own one you know uh you know a problem that it comes with i mean yeah, again it is yeah. 15 six what is it oh 14 years old so again you do run into that issue again i'm well, lucky enough that the bed is in perfect shape the wheel wells are perfect shape yeah um, frame is so absolutely solid i couldn't ask for a better truck and for what i paid for it it's, it's exactly what i want i've been wanting for one for a while and like I said, the 6 O's are the best sounding diesel, in my opinion. True. Uh, between the whistle and the... Sounds cool when you shut it off when it makes that noise. Well, that's because it's a VGT turbo, and the vein, the tune I actually have opens the veins up at when it gets turned off. The mm. turbo will cool down properly, and it, you reduce cracking like that. Yeah. Um, as you know, I mean, diesels, you could be pushing 12, 1400 degrees from compression. I mean... EGTs are very, very, very uh, important to keep an eye on with the diesels. Um, I mean, I got most of my temps right on my tuner, but I guess I'm going to run a stack of gauges and probably a screen, yeah. an SCT screen soon. Just That's been working it. on it. Like I said, I've been busy with work and busy with just everything life. Yeah. So I've been trying, like I said, I took it, I take it to Ocean City every weekend, um, down to my girl's house. I have had no hiccups whatsoever besides like, I got I ended up getting bad fuel at Royal Farms and it kind of For threw, real. threw everything out of whack. Um, it ended up, like I said, chewing up the Fickum, chewing up the lift pump. Um, it was like $2,100 worth of damage. Damn. So, it, again, it's a nose, diesel's expensive. I mean, you got to pay to play now. It is what it is. I mean, it's fixed. Like I said, I know what, what's done now. I got warranty and everything. I buy everything OEM when it comes to diesel because yeah, they last the best. If you don't, if these things are so picky, I mean, you treat them right, they'll treat you right. You start throwing cheap shit at them. You start yeah, what getting, kind of flex plate does this thing have? Does it have a billet style one? Or I believe is, everything is billet within yeah. the trans. Like I said, it was no cool. Ka, from Kyle from Booster Boys. He, he has a, a Dodge Cummins. I think it's a Cummins. I'm, you know me, I'm not a truck guy, but I know I know it's turbo diesel and. He, he kept running through flex plates, the OEM ones, and now he just went billet because like, he just kept breaking yeah, them. The, the, the flex plate, the trans are a sticky sticky issue. When you start running, like I said, the torque these things have are ridiculous. Um, yeah. I mean, it's upwards of a thousand. Yeah, it's definitely crazy. To be this heavy and move like it's that light on its feet, it's definitely like, whoa. I've you know never... what, trans is especially with diesels. I mean, any diesel, you start running big power, it ain't hard to make power, but the trans is, I mean, knock on wood, the 5R100s that are, are in the Fords are probably the most solid stock trans. I mean, you can run about 500 to 600 horse through them before you start having to do billet parts and torque converters and start getting them built. I mean, you could beat That's them crazy. pretty well before you start having to start building them. Like I said, <laughs> this thing, I don't really don't know what it sits at. I mean, I'm shooting, again, High sevens, eights. I don't really know exactly. Like I said, in the springtime, I'm gonna start throwing some more money at it. There we go. <laughs> I want to feel that. I want to feel that first hit, like you were saying. Yo, first gear in this thing, guys, is nuts. Like from a complete stop going, is it's crazy feeling that much power with a car that is so damn heavy. It's like a just dead grip. It's got a tape break within the tune. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. I mean, I do. I said I do it for a living. Um, it opens up cylinders to relieve pressure and actually saves the brakes. But with the tune I have, you could set that so it'll actually put it in tow haul mode and it's more of an aggressive tune. It's kind of like a, a tune within the tune. Yeah. Um, it'll turn the boost up another six pounds. Um, you know, I'm just everything gets gets intensified just a little bit more. Um, yeah. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you want me to roll the window down when I take off here or what? Yeah, just a little crack. 
gear a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy schmoly woly, baby. It's just hard. That's the other thing we're running with this wide tire. It's hard to turn. It's hard to turn it. It's hard to turn around. U-turns are not friendly oh. Oh, not at all. This, but you pay to play with a big motherfucker like this, man. And again, I said I drive for a living, so I'm pretty not too work. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He fucking slid that bitch. Damn. Well, slid him. Yeah, I think you guys get the idea of what it feels like. Yeah, I try not to. I try not to beat on it too much. I rather cool. do the gradual. That's how you get most power in diesels. Off the line, you're gonna get a decent bit of grip, but when you, if you lay into it and, and a steady increase, the turbo spools up. Once it reaches boost, I mean, it, it kicks you in the ass. Yeah, more is coming soon. Now he's got this. Yeah, maybe we'll go down to Daytona and see some crazy trucks to get drunk and do some hillbilly shit. That'd be fucking pretty fun. You yeah, know what there's I mean? about 20 of us going down there from, from Delco. I uh, got a couple of people from Jersey coming. There's about 20 trucks. Go, we're going to so head, head down there. Um, it'll be good. It'll be a good week. Um, that's June 7th, 8th, and 9th, I believe, down in Daytona. And then I got Rudy's, which is April... 14th and 15th, I believe. So that'll be another one. I'll probably run it on the track. Yeah. Um, it'll be at Cecil this year. I mean, like I said, I'm trying to push push big power. I mean, it's built for it, so I might as well give it what it deserves. Damn right. So. It, was, it was built to play. Well, so next it. time, guys, peace.